something happens to you, what are you capable of as a human being? You think. You process. You seek counsel. You get advice. You pray. You grieve. Because when you breathe, I remember the 35th kilometer of the Berlin Marathon. Pag marathon kasi 42. So 7 kilometers to go. And I was telling myself, nakaka-35 na ako. So siguro, slow down a bit, relax. Besides, of the 50,000 runners, by that time, yung 10,000 nag-quit na. Yung 10,000 nag-iisip ng mag-quit. So feeling ko, hindi naman ako mag-quit, medyo pabaghala ko lang ng kaunti. And when I close my eyes to relax, whose face do I see? My eldest son, Donny, yung artista. Nagkasundo kami that I will reach a new personal record in that marathon, which was my maybe eighth or ninth marathon. And I remembered Meron palang chip dun sa aking numero at tinatrack niya ako sa computer online. Ibig sabihin, every kilometer, he knew my time. At malalaman ni Donny, habang pinapanood niya, na pagdating dun sa 35th, bumagal na ako. And after the race, I know that already my son would ask me, Dad, what happened to you? Doon sa 35th, kasi medyo bumagal ka. Now, kung sobrang cramps all over, so, son, grabe, I was cramping all over. Pero tinapos ko pa rin, bilip siya. Eh, wala namang cramps eh. Or maybe I could have said, grabe, mali ang hydration ko, mali ang nutrition ko, so nagsusuko ka si daddy. Tinapos mo pa rin, bilip siya. Eh, hindi naman ako. Nagsusuko eh. I would have told my son, son, pagod na ako eh. And you know what Donnie would have told me? Dad, lahat ng sumasali sa marathon, napapagod. You quit. I gave up on the goal. If I slow down. And he would have been correct. And because I knew I could not face my son and tell him that I quit in the last seven by slowing down and not reaching my new target. I had no choice but to finish strong. Stuff na lang. Ibig sabihin, minsan may trigger sa mundo natin na hindi natin naasahan. May insidente. A stimulus is a force, something that you did not expect. Or feeling natin, more of the same naman eh. Wala naman nangyayari pagbabago eh. At kung minsan ay di-discourage tayo, minsan nabibigla tayo. Change is happening. Do you agree? Change is happening every day. Whether it is family, company, society, things are changing. Peter Sengi is from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Ganda nung kanyang illustration eh. Kumuha siya ng rubber band. Tapos, three nets niya. Can you see this? Okay? Vertical stretch. And it, I love what he said. This is your reality. Nandito tayo ngayon. Okay? This is your dream. Okay? Ito ang pangarap natin. Are you following? At dahil po may gap to, dun sa realidad ngayon at yung pangarap natin, meron tayong nararamdaman. Ano yung nararamdaman natin? Dahil dun sa puwang na yun, dahil sa gap, what do you feel? 
pressure, stress, tension. You know what Sengi said? S E N G E. That tension is good. Wag kang negative na may tension sa buhay mo. Ang importante yung tension mo ay dahil may pangarap ka sa buhay. Because that vision pulls you out of bed in the morning. Hindi ka mabangon eh kung walang pangarap. Are you following? He calls it creative tension. It inspires you to move forward. There are only two ways to lessen the tension. Kasi pag sobra naman ang tension, ano mangyayari? Bibigay yun. Tama ba? Dalawa lang ang pwedeng mangyari para mabawasan ang tension. You change your reality and move towards the vision. O pwede rin yung isa. Huwag ka nalang mangarap. Eh, mamatay ka nalang kung di ka mangarap. Tama ba? We are insatiable. And we were meant by God to move from glory to glory. Huwag kang kampante. Huwag na yung pwede na. Mangarap mo ka pa. But you have to accept the fact that there will be tension. Importante yung tension dahil sa vision. Are you following? 100 meter final sa Olympics. Baka mas madali ito. 100 meters ha. Takbo. Lahat ng mga tatakbo nandito sa starting line. Ito po ang finish line. Question. Meron bang tension sa mga tatakbo sa starting line? Yes. Of course! Wala naman ako puro sa harap. Kapag ano ha, tawagin niyo selfie muna tayo dito. Lahat may tension sa simula. Lahat nakapokus sa viso. And when the starting gun is fired because of that tension based on the vision, everybody goes to the finish line. Nobody goes to the left. Nobody goes to the right. May tanong, magkakapatid. I don't know if you heard this illustration before, but I think it's perfect. Sometimes we have to hear these illustrations again. Dalawang magkakapatid, isang nanay, yung isa masyadong positive, yung isang bata masyadong negative. So sabi ng nanay, gusto ko balansado sila. Yung masyadong optimist, gusto ko medyo mas konti namang realistic na para makita naman yung negative sa buhay. Yung masyado namang pessimist, masyadong negative, sana naman may konting paharap sa buhay. So ginawa niya ng paraan. Yung masyadong negative, nilagay niya sa isang kwarto, puno ng paboritong laruan ang bata, at iniwan niya ng isang oras. Sabi niya, siguro naman pagkataas sa isang oras, eh, medyo mas positive na ito. Are you following? Yung masyadong positive niyang anak, nilagay niya sa isang kwarto, punong-puno ng tayo ng kabayo. Wasted. Okay? Iniwan niya na isang oras, sabi niya, siguro naman after one hour, mas negative na ang bata nito. After one hour, chinect niya. Una niya chinect yung negative na bata. ano nakita niya? The negative boy was in one corner of the room. Walang ginagawa. Nasa sulok lang. At sabi niya, anak, with all these toys here, bakit nandiyan ka lang? Anong sagot ng bata? Precisely, mommy. With all these toys here, for no apparent reason, there must be a cat somewhere. <laughs> ano, pag negative ka, talaga negative ka yun. <laughs> so, medyo na down siya. Pero sabi niya, siguro naman yung positive, medyo may nangyari na. So, sumilip lang. Hindi siya pumasok. So, ay, ah, nakabayo. Sumilip lang siya. Anong nakita niya? Aba, yung bata. Woo, gumagano. <laughs> Sabi niya, anak, bakit? Anong ginagawa ko? Sabi niya, mom, with all this horse shit here, there must be a horse somewhere. <laughs> Nagahanap pa ng kabayo. Who do you think will succeed in life? The positive or the negative? <laughs> So, so many things are happening. Pero ang panahon na natin, napaka-importante. A point to the ceiling. Okay, can you do clockwise here, Ken? Clockwise, ha? Go, clockwise. 
Turungan nyo nga yung katabi ninyo. <laughs> okay. You got it so far. Oh, now, follow me, ha. Do not change the turn. Kailangan pareho ikot at pointing up. Pero ibaba mo lang hanggat nasa stomach level tayo. Pointing up pa rin, same turn. Okay, now, look down. Clockwise pa ba? <laughs> Clockwise pa ba? Eh kung clockwise pa, may problema ka sa paningin mo. Nagbabago, di ba? Mahulitin nyo. Eh ba't nagbago? Hindi naman bago yung ikot. Anong nagbago? <laughs> Ang perspective. This is the view from the top. This is the view from below. This is the view of the child. This is the view of the parent. This is the view of the upline. This is the view of the downline. This is the view of the subordinate follower. This is the view of the boss. All views are correct. It's a matter of perspective. And let me tell you this. The one who is able to see all the views will become the leader of all. I don't know if I shared this before, I think I have to stress it again. No matter what happens to you, one of my mentors, John Maxwell, reminds us, it's not what happens to you that's important, it's what happens in you. Yung reaction mo importante, yung pananaw mo importante, hindi ko na nangyari sa'yo, yung sagot mo. Ang hayop, mga kaibigan, ulitin lang natin to. alam niyo na to, pero nakakalimutan natin. Pag meron pong puwersa o stimulus po, tawagin, hindi nag-iisip yan. Bigla yung magre-react. Instinct. Are you following? Ang tao, katabi mo, tao, pag may nangyari, may gap mo na eh. Hindi basta-basta dapat nag-react yan. May gap muna, may panahon. Bago siya nag-react. Are you following? Anong dapat nangyayari dun sa gap na yun? What's supposed to happen when something happens to you? What are you capable of as a human being? You think. You process. You seek counsel. You get advice, you pray, you grieve. Because when you breathe, you make better decisions when you're at rest. At ang humihinga, namamahinga. Ang problema natin, pabigla-biglang reaksyon eh. Yan ang problema natin sa bayan natin kuminsan eh. Feeling natin lahat, diktima tayo. No. You're not an animal. You can always choose. You can always respond. Sa diksyonaryo, ang reaction, hindi response. Alam niyo ba yun? Iba yung dalawa. Kala ko dati pareho na yun. To respond is to positively react. Hindi ko alam yun. Akala ko pareho lang yun. Kaya ang doktor, pag binigyan ka ng gamot, at hindi tama ang reaksyon, di ba? Oy, ako nagre-react, katawan mo doon sa gamot. Pero pag maayos, wow, nagre-respond ang katawan mo. Kasi positive. Are you with me? No matter how challenging the situation, no matter what your problems are, no matter how difficult the competition, no matter what your children don't do to obey you or your husband or wife has done to hurt you, you can always win if you choose to react positively. That's not the victim's mentality. That is the victor's mentality. And that is for every human being like you and me.